Welcome back, and today it's Tech Tuesday here on What's New. So we have three tech stories that people are talking about today. First up, today kicked off Google's annual developer conference, and within the last hour, developers revealed what's new in Android. According to CNET, it's the biggest design change yet. The new interface comes with personalized color palettes, updated notifications, and faster battery saving performance. Another part of the redesign involves more fluid motions and animations when moving between apps. That sounds pretty cool. And speaking of apps, you know, Memorial Day is right around the corner, and AAA says 37 million Americans are planning a trip. 12 million of those folks, they're going to be driving. And nothing is worse than when you're trying to load directions on your phone, but you're in an area with spotty reception. So Google Maps is going to let you download your maps ahead of time. Open the app and enter your destination. At the bottom of the screen, tap the name of the place you're going or the address. Tap the three dot menu in the upper right corner. It's kind of a little settings edit tab. And then tap download offline map. Very important. Then uh, you can access them on the go without using Wi-Fi or data. Always look for those little three dots. That's like the key. It's like a portal into another dimension of options. <laughs> the three dot dimension. Yes. And what's old is new again. A recent study shows that ebook sales are now trailing paper book sales by more than 20% worldwide. That's pretty surprising. It's a gap that got even bigger during the pandemic. Some readers say they just prefer real books because they stare at screens all day, and we do. They also say it's nice having something that will last longer than a specific device, and that goes for the younger generation too. Our customers are staying young, so young people are reading books as well. It's not like it's only us old fogies. In fact, it's boomers that make up the largest ebook market share at 20%. According to some readers, the uh, reports, the e-reader market revenue worldwide is expected to fall, get this, from four and a half billion dollars in 2020 to two billion dollars in 2024. So Betsy, that's 50% of their uh, market share lost in the span of four years. Still pretty big chunk of market share. <laughs> I'll say. B with a billion, right? Or a billion with a B, I suppose we should yeah, say.